Hi, I'm Ranger Ree with Jefferson County Open Space, and I'm at Flying J Ranch Park. Who's cutting down all the trees? What is your reaction when you see trees being chopped down? Do you think cutting down the lodgepole pine is benefiting this forest? Forests require smart management strategies in order to have a healthy forest, benefit wildlife, and prevent fires. Let's learn a little history so we can better understand this forest. There's evidence here at Flying J Ranch Park that people have been passing through and settling here for thousands of years. The Ute people passed through on their seasonal hunting trips. And eventually, when white settlers came out in the 1850s to find gold, they found it was easier to mine the land and raise crops and animals here on the property. The Hicks and the Hagen family were the first people to settle here at what's now Flying J Ranch Park. They homesteaded and raised root vegetables. They even cut down trees for timber, which was a big industry in Conifer and Evergreen. Eventually, the Schoenhoven family purchased the two homesteads and turned it into their own ranch where they raised cattle. Mr. Schoenhoven was actually an American Airlines pilot and built a private landing strip right across the meadow here. Until the 1800s, wildfires burned naturally throughout Colorado's forests. But when people came to settle, wildfires became unacceptable. Fire suppression efforts here in the foothills have led to unnatural forest growth and a lot of extra trees. Do you think that's good for forest health? Let's find out. Look at all those trees. When you see a lot of lodgepole like this, do you think it is a healthy forest? This is an unhealthy lodgepole forest. This is what happens when fire is suppressed. Too many trees grow. There is little habitat diversity, therefore less diverse wildlife. Trees are growing so close together that not even the sunlight can make it to the forest floor. Not many flowers can grow. All the lodgepole trees here are around 120 years old. That's when lodgepole can start to die. What would happen if a wildfire came through here? Do you think we would lose the entire forest? How can we reduce the risk of wildfire? What can we do to this forest that has too many trees of the same age? This is a healthy lodgepole forest. Some of the trees were cut to create meadows. Now lodgepole seedlings can grow in the sunlight and create distinct stands of trees. This also creates edge habitat. A thinner forest allows the sun to reach the forest floor and allows more flowers to grow. New habitats support greater diversity of wildlife, like woodpeckers, owls, chickadees, nuthatches, mule deer, elk, moose, porcupine, and more. Smart forest management strategies benefit wildlife, help prevent wildfires, and help maintain a healthy forest. Looking around, what do you think of these cut down trees? Are they healthy? Yes, they are. Catastrophic wildfires are reduced because of a thinner, more open forest. Even though there are trees in the ground, it is not as much of a fire hazard as it was before. And there's a lot more habitat for wildlife and flowers. Jefferson County Open Space is doing our part to reduce the risk of wildfires by using smart restoration strategies.